If your video clip begins or ends abruptly, you can soften the intros and outros by applying fade in and fade out effects. The fade effect creates an animated transition between your first frame and your fade duration, and again your last frame and its ending fade duration. If your first and last frames are black, you'll see a fade in from black effect. If they're not, you'll see an interesting blur. To create a fade, click on the media clip that you want to adjust. I'm working on slide six of my presentation. When I click on my media clip, I have new tabs up here for video tools, format, and playback. I'll click on playback. In the editing tools on the left-hand side, I see two boxes for fade duration, fade in and fade out. I can either use my arrows to increase them and decrease them in 0.25 increments, or I can also type in the box. Now when I preview my video, I can awesome. see that blur. Um, it's actually my anniversary tonight, and I forgot about it until I'll skip to the end. saving my relationship tonight, so it's, it's where I come every time. So you can see that blur effect. Now, if you do really want a true fade in from black and fade out to black, but your video clip does not have a black frame for the first frame and the last frame, here's a workaround that you can use. I'm going to go to slide four and apply this effect to this video. The first thing that I need to do is set this movie to play automatically. I'll go to my video tools playback ribbon and change the start from on click to automatically. The next step is to create my black box. I'll go to insert and shapes and I'll choose a rectangle. I'll drag it to my exact dimension of my video clip. Next, I need to change the color to black. So I'll go to the drawing tools format tab that appears and click on shape fill and select black. Now I need to animate these two effects. Go to your animations tab. Because this rectangle is already black, I'm going to want it to fade away. So I'm going to click on the more button in my animation effects and find fade out. I'll make its duration 1.5 seconds. I'll open up the animation pane by clicking on this button right here on the right hand side of the ribbon. I do want this animation to happen at the same time as my movie. So I'm going to change the start from on click to with previous so that it starts fading at the same time my movie starts playing. Now I need to make it fade to black at the end. So I'm going to click on that rectangle, right click on it, copy it, click on it again, right click and paste. Now I have two rectangles. I'll also move it right on top of the first rectangle. Now this time I want this shape to fade in because it doesn't exist and then I want to see it as black. So I'm going to change the effect option to fade in. And I want this to happen after the other effect. So I'm going to change the start this time to after previous and again up the duration to 1.5. Now let's play our slide and see how it works. I'll click on slideshow. Hansel and Petal has been for years. There's my fade in. Most amazingly beautiful now because this is all working on timing, I can't actually fast forward through this video. So we're going to watch it. To get something and I'm always greeted with a smile. They always provide excellent recommendations. And I never, they never fail to send me out of here with an amazing bouquet or an amazing product. And you just can't beat the price. And there's our fade out. So we've created a fade in from black and a fade out from black by using three objects, animations, and animation timings. The ability to create this fade will definitely smooth out the flow of your presentation so that your media doesn't jolt the audience.